What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. All right, today, fam, we're going to do a, a, something a little different. We're going to do a Jay-Z caricature. And if you like this, I'm going to be posting up some more, because I got some hilarious ones coming up. I'm going to show you my approach and show you the steps that I took, but there's going to be a time lapse. If you're interested in it and you like it, you just leave in the comment area and I'll post up the entire session. The session is generally about an hour and a half. So I want to make sure that you guys will be interested in this before I go uploading it. All right. So with that, with our further ado, let's go ahead and get this session started. So then here's Jason. He owns a sports agency. So in effect, he already represents players who partner with the NFL. Correct. And it's in their best interest and his in representation of him that he has a deeper relationship with the NFL. And if this now is about social justice and really doing real work, which we have seen Jay-Z do, Providing lawyers for people, paying for that. He's a part of the Reform Alliance, which we're seeing them do great work. You see what it took to get the Meek Mill thing ironed out? He's a part of that also. You see what he's been doing with bringing these stories to light using the documentary, you know, Netflix. I think he's at Netflix now. Amazon. Clearly Amazon. Amazon. Browder story. He's done, it, guys, it's been basically over the last few years, I feel like most of the stories we do about Jay-Z are about him doing work for social justice. You can be anti-NFL and understand what Jay-Z is trying to accomplish. You can do both. You can stand with Cap and not watch NFL on TV and still be like, oh, Jay, I see how you move and I see what you're trying to accomplish here. Cause I'm gonna reiterate it. Black men are still playing in the NFL. I don't like that Colin Kaepernick wasn't a part of this. This is Ebro speaking. I don't like that. I don't like how that played out. No, it's like, um, I'm specifically, speaking to us and about who we are and how do you maintain the sense of self while pushing it forward and, uh, and holding us to have a responsibility for our actions. Because in America, it is what it is. a solution for us if we had a power base together where we have much different conversation than me having a conversation by myself I'm trying to change America by myself if I come with 40 million people it's a different conversation what was the point of protest of the NFL specifically because the protest of the NFL wasn't about changing police brutality. No. Sorry, the owners of the NFL can't fix police brutality. That is a systemic problem But in they America. can support the greater conversation and embrace the people who are trying to bring that to the mainstream. Precisely. Partnering with people who understand the culture and social change and those things better than they do. Who's a good person to meet with that? How about an outspoken celebrity with a lot of money and power and knowledge of the culture who's done things in the community? So they take the step, they, they reach out to Jay-Z, and then everyone goes, oh! Well, not everyone. Do they, not, not everyone. Not everyone. They and, and by the way, I, you guys got to give people space to not understand this level of productivity. Um, I'm specifically speaking to us. Because in America, it is what it is. 
is the solution for us if we had a power base together we would have much different conversation than me having a conversation by myself and trying to change America by myself. And that, that concept was dreamed up, dreamt up by myself and uh, Ava. Ava DuVernay. Yeah. Yeah. She, and uh, she, I wish we could have taped the phone conversation because they were beautiful. You know, just, just dreaming up this world where um, there would be no more first for black people. Like all the first had been accomplished. So wow. let's move that out of the conversation. That Check. conversation is done. Check. So what, where do we go from here? You know, which is a beautiful thing that, uh, that we dreamt up and I'm glad that people respond to the Not way. Major. Again, I believe everything happens for a reason. You know, everything is a learning experience. You know, the good, bad, and the ugly. This had to happen to purge itself. You know, for, for you know, men who've been in position for so long, and then of course, if you're in that position of power to abuse your power, you get drunk off success. Human nature, if you go unchecked, it takes a really special person to have that sort of power and not wield not it. Yeah, yeah. In, in the wrong way. It has to happen. This, 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 this movement and everything that's going on and this, um, what we're finding out. It's like everything else. It's like racism, like everything. It's, it existed the whole time. And we just, it's almost like we normalized it. The, norm, the normalization of the things we have to do to survive. Like for women to like go to work knowing that this sort of abuse was happening every day. It happened in every day because you can look and you know, logically you say, why would you stay there? You know, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? You have to uh, survive in America and and in order to survive, you have to normalize it. So this has been going on. So it's important to get uncovered and the world to correct itself. Um, this is this is what has to happen. That's it's, it's like it's disappointing and it's hurtful. It really is hurtful more so. Like it, everyone feels anger, but after the anger, it's really hurtful because it's like you're like looking down on a whole population of people and you're so misinformed because these places have beautiful people and have beautiful everything um and it's just like this is the leader of the free world speaking like this but on the other side this has been going on this is how people talk this is how they talk behind closed doors there was a moment where donald sterling had been exposed as this racist on a private phone conversation that he was having. And it's like, okay, that's one way to do it. But another way would have been, let him have his team and then let's talk about it together. And let's, and let's have a maybe discussion. some penalties, but, cause once you do that, all the other closet racists just run back in the hole. You've done, you haven't fixed anything. What you've done was spray perfume on a trash can. Mm -hmm. And what you do when you do that is, you know, the bugs come and you spray something and then they come and then you create a super bug. You don't take care of the problem. You don't take the trash out. You just keep spraying whatever over it to make it acceptable. And then, you know, as those things grow, then you create a superbug. And then now we have Donald Trump, the superbug. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.